right, Saved by the Bell. So I guess this will be part two uh, since we got interrupted by a phone call. I still run a business here. This is the mobile office. So I was telling you the story about the pumpkins. So this is pumpkins part two. Um, we were talking about the International Space Station. So the International Space Station flies over and I became interested in it when um, the astronaut Kelly was up there. Um, so I was paying attention. So you get these notifications on your phone when the space station is going to be <clears throat> crossing over your area and you can actually see it. And it's just really fascinating. So we always ran out and waved, Mr. Kelly, hello, <laughs> like he could see us or something. So um, one day, I don't know why, but I sent the space station email notification to the pumpkins. And I was like, hey, you know, the space station is going to fly over tonight around 915. So that was the end of that. So I go out in the darkness around 915 to go see the space station and I hear a front door creak and the two pumpkins, they're a little itty bitty. They're like five foot tall. That sh that shrinking stage of their life, they're really, I mean, she's gotta be probably four foot nine right now. Um, so they go to the end of their driveway and they face the wrong direction. So like I walk, I walk down there, I'm like, hey guys, what you doing? Well, we came out here to look. So I turn them around facing the right way and we're standing there and I'm kind of waiting for, you know, it to come. You know, you get a time, you get a direction. And we're standing there and I start seeing it. And I'm like, um, okay, here it comes. And she's got, you know, eye issues. So she doesn't see really well. So I have to wait for it to get much, much closer. And it's coming. It's very big. It's very bright. And she goes, you know, I never had a desire to go to space. And I'm like, looking down at her like, yeah, I know. Yeah, I get it. <laughs> she goes, you know, they kept trying to get me to go up. And I'm like, okay. She goes, that Apollo project. <laughs> so apparently my neighbors, who I've now determined are Russian spies, um, she worked in the space program. She literally is a rocket scientist. <laughs> She's the one, she, she can fly like all types of aircraft. She was like the token woman. She was the girl. She was the broad that they had to hire. She is like the men gave her a hard time. She's the one that figured out why the rockets blew up and the planes crashed. And yeah, she's something else. So we're standing there and she's like, they kept trying to get a girl to go on Apollo. And I'm like, I'm not going into space. <laughs> like these people lived across the street from me for like 20 years and I had no clue. She is just she's just like a spicy little card so they're i believe both engineers he was just a different type of uh, programmer i think angela had a conversation with him about what i think he did so i'm trying to think i know it's in here it'll roll it'll it'll rattle loose in a little bit so anyhow that's the end of pumpkins part two uh i'm not going to space story